Alright everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So today I'm going over the potential postseason bracket. If the season ended today, the regular season for that matter, what would the playoffs look like? Who would be playing who? Who is going to make it all the way to the World Series? Who's going to win the World Series? I'm going to talk about all that today in this video. In my personal opinion, of course, I don't know what's going to happen. No one does. And I could be wrong with some of these picks. This might not happen actually come the wild card race or the division series. But this is what I'm thinking at the moment where teams are and where they lie with the wild card and the divisions and stuff and who's the best team in all of baseball. So with that being said, we're going to get right into it here. We're going to the bracket and we're going to start off with the American League wild card. If you guys are excited for this video, if you could drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subs, and I want you guys to let me know if you agree or disagree with some of my picks here that we're going to be talking about for the Rocky. So if the season ended today, the Oakland Athletics would have home field advantage to the American League wildcard being up a game and a half over the Tampa Bay Rays, who have the second wildcard spot. They're up by half a game over the Indians, so this is very close. But if the regular season ended today, the matchup would be the A's and the Rays. I think that the A's are going to go ahead and win this one, but Charlie Morton, if he were to pitch in this wildcard game for the Rays, would be something that the A's might have to try to take care of and get him out of the game quickly. But Oakland does have a very good offense. Marcus Semyon, Matt Chapman, Matt Olson. There's some great guys on that team. I think they're going to be able to come through in the clutch and win the game, the one-game playoff series, essentially. And it's huge for them because if they don't win it, they lose. It's go big or go home here. Oakland versus Tampa Bay, I mean, they both have very similar records right now as well, so it is very hard for me to make this decision, but I think the Oakland Athletics will advance. On the flip side of things, for the NL Wild Card, you have the Washington Nationals, who are currently half game above the Milwaukee Brewers for home field advantage, and then you have the Brewers, who are four games up of the Cubs for the second Wild Card spot, so I think they're sitting pretty right now. This is a little close, but I don't think it's going to be as close of a game as the AL Wild Card is. The Nationals have Max Scherzer. They're definitely going to go ahead and use him in this one-game playoff. I think he'll be able to dominate the Brewers' offense, and the Nationals should be able to win. They have a really good team. Trey Turner, Anthony Rendon, a couple other guys on offense. Of course, you have Max Scherzer. You have a pretty decent bullpen as well. So I'm assuming the Washington Nationals will go ahead and win this one and advance to the division series. So those are my wild card predictions. Now if we go over to the division series in the American League, you first have the Astros and the Athletics. Now, this is a very simple matchup, in my opinion. I think the Houston Astros will dominate Oakland, but I think the A's will give themselves a fair shot. They'll probably win one game. I'm assuming they'll win one. Maybe they won't, but this is a five-game set. The Astros will win this. They'll take uh, the majority of the games from Oakland, and they'll advance to the championship series for the American League. I don't think that's very hard to go ahead and say because they've been one of the best teams in baseball. I think they maybe are the best team in baseball right now, actually, record-wise, which is kind of crazy. So... Very good team right here in Houston. I think they will have the upper hand when it comes to this matchup of the Astros and the Athletics. The other two teams in the American League Division Series that we're going to be seeing facing each other are the Yankees and the Twins. Now, again, for me, I think this is pretty simple. I think the Yankees will have an easy shot and they'll make it to the Championship Series. The Twins have been very good, but the Yankees have a really solid offense. Their defense is pretty good as well. I mean, if pitching isn't their strongest suit, which it isn't, they do have a bullpen, which is solid and uh, a little stronger, at least in the starting rotation for some of these games. The Yankees should be able to come out on top here and face Houston come the championship series for the American League. Over to the National League. Now you have the Dodgers and the Nationals. Much like the other two division series, this will be very simple. The Dodgers should win this again. I don't think the Nationals are going to go down without a fight. They will maybe win the game. They're really close, something like that. They will score as much as possible. They'll try their hardest, but I don't think they're going to advance. Los Angeles is very good. They have been. They're looking to go to the World Series for the third straight time. Well, they lose it the third straight time. You'll have to wait and see to the very end for my World Series prediction. But, um... Yeah, Dodgers versus Nationals, it'll be a fun matchup for sure to watch because both are very good teams. And Nationals, I don't think we're expecting to be this good, or at least I wasn't expecting them to be this good in 2019. So I'm excited for them to even be at this spot in the postseason. And yeah, Dodgers versus Nationals, Dodgers win it. So the last division series we're going to be talking about here is the Braves and the Cardinals. Now, this is a very good matchup. I do think Atlanta will go ahead and get the job done, win this five-game set, or win the majority of the five-game set, and move to the championship series. I do really like this team. I think all around they did a great job. They got some acquisitions at the trade deadline, and before the season started, the Cardinals also got some good players, Paul Goldschmidt being one of them, and Matt Carpenter hasn't been too bad this year either, so... 
you know, it, it's a very good matchup right here, head to head. I'm excited to see what happens. I like the Braves though. I want to see them go far, make it to the championship series. And I think with that being said, they do have the upper hand offensively and defensively too. So now it's like the last couple of weeks of baseball for the season. And it's big because it's the championship series, the American League and the National League, which leads to the World Series. So one of these teams will win it all, hypothetically, of course, because we don't know if my predictions are right. Probably they won't be, but that's okay. So for the American League Championship Series, you have the Houston Astros versus the New York Yankees. Now, I think we saw this exact matchup when the Astros won the World Series back a couple seasons ago. This time, I don't see Houston advancing. I think the Yankees will take it. Now, I could be wrong. And honestly, this is going to be a very intense matchup. It's going to be, I think, back and forth for the lead, uh, you know, in a single game and for the series. Because this is this is a big one here. The Ashes and the Yankees, they're both out for blood. They want to win. They want to make it to the World Series. The Yankees looking for the 28th World Series championship of the franchise. And it's big. I can't wait to see what happens. I do think this will be the American League matchup, though. And... It's going to be very intense, very fun. I'm excited as a Yankees fan. So yeah, I'm saying that the New York Yankees advance to the World Series with this prediction. And now for the National League, you have the Dodgers versus the Braves. I do think the Dodgers will make it back to the World Series for the third straight year. The Braves do have a very good team. But I think the Dodgers will go ahead and get the upper hand here. They have some really good starting pitching. It might edge out over the Braves just a little bit. They do have Hyunjin Ryu, who's doing very well this year. Clayton Kershaw, a couple other guys. And of course, their offense is really good. Cody Bellinger especially. And uh, Max Muncy, a couple other guys there too. Uh, a big matchup again. Both teams want to make sure the World Series, but I do think the Dodgers will face off in the Yankees in the World Series. So here we go, the World Series. Now, this is big. Um... My prediction might be wrong. It might be a little biased, but I do think the Yankees are going to win it. They've had a really great team and a solid team throughout the entire year, and I think that'll just keep up. We have some really good postseason starters who have experience, and I like what they can do. The Dodgers do have a very solid team, though, as well, so it's a little scary. My game prediction is that the Yankees take the World Series in six games, so they win four out of six I hope that is the case. It is a seven-game set, so in case they really need to, maybe seven games. I don't see it being any shorter than that, though, because if you think about it, you have two of the best teams in all of baseball throughout the entire season, and now they're facing off at each other. I don't think the Yankees are going to win it in four games. I don't think the Dodgers are going to win it in four games. It's going to take a little bit more than that. Uh, for whoever's going to end up winning this World Series in 2019, but the Yankees are my favorites. They're going to win it in six, I think. And I believe they played a three-game set against the Dodgers back in early, or sorry, late August, and they took two out of three. So I'm hoping we can kind of keep that momentum up come the World Series. And yeah, that's it. Yankees win the World Series in six games. So with my postseason predictions, the New York Yankees are your 2019 World Series champions. If you guys like this video, don't forget to drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. That's going to end it for this one. I'll see you all next time. Peace.